Hi, how is everybody surviving? If you're down here where I am um, in the Bamberg, Earhart, Orangeburg, Columbia area, it has been one heck of an afternoon. Um, you guys, I drove home in this crazy storm today and um, I am glad to be home safe and sound with no damage here at my house. Lots and lots and lots of people had so much damage this afternoon. So just very thankful. You guys say hey when you jump on. Joy, thanks for the hearts. Um, you guys, I am here tonight to talk about a couple of my favorite products. Um, I get asked all the time, how in the world do you make your makeup last for all day long? Like, do you go home and do touch-ups on your makeup? Or is your makeup do just does it stay all the time? And um, honestly, my makeup does stay all the time. I don't usually, hey Lisa, thanks for jumping on tonight. I don't usually have to come home and do touch-ups on my makeup. So we're going to do a little bit of some testing and some experimenting tonight. I am going to be using a darker shade than I normally do. Um, let me show you here what I'm going to do. We're just going to get right into this video. I'm going to be using this color right here, which is one of our Shinto colors. It's a Shinto 2, so not even really in my... Um, my foundation color, um, if that's the right word I'm looking for here. But what I'm doing is I want to make sure that those, I think those are pretty even, don't you guys? So I'm going to show you why it is so important. And I recommend, um, when you buy a foundation that you also use our setting powder, and I'm going to tell you about our setting powder and our setting spray. And I'm going to show you the difference in that. Um, the other thing I want to do is also show you how it helps with eyeshadow. Because so many times people will say, my eyeshadow creases. My eyeshadow does not stay on all day long. So I'm going to do a little test. We're going to put things to the test tonight. I'm going to go in. This is Dial It Black. This is one of our um, darkest eyeshadows. I'm going to put that on my arm first. All right. And you guys, this is what our setting spray looks like right here. It will last, it will make your makeup last up to 16 hours. Okay. So I am running low on setting spray and like the little setting thing would not even spray out earlier. So this is a little sample size bottle that I have of the setting spray. So I actually poured what was left in the bottle in this so that I could um, so that I could show you guys. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to... <laughs> I am totally not even getting my arm with this. So hold on a second. Let me try it again. So this is... If you want a sample of setting spray, let me know. But okay, so I've sprayed it. I'm going to let that dry. And um, now what I'm going to do is um, on this cheek and on this cheek only, so we're not going to do anything to this cheek, I am going to take our setting, I mean our, our perfect pressed powder. I'm going to put it here on the brush. Hold on. There it is. And I am going to set the foundation. Now this is going to mattify it. This is going to give you that um, airbrushed look. Y'all have heard me say before, if you've watched my lives, that our pressed powder was actually made by a company that um, does airbrush. So this, this setting, this powder with the setting spray is going to help lock your foundation in. So see how this one is still kind of wet looking? Um, and this is just kind of set pretty perfectly. Okay. Now, this is where you would go in with your setting spray. And again, I'm using the mini bottle here. Okay. Ugh. If you get this, it kind of sprays a little bit of everywhere. Okay. So I've already sprayed it on my arm and now sprayed it on my face. I actually keep my setting spray in the bathroom um, near my hair dryer so that when I'm getting ready in the morning, I seriously cut my hair dryer on um, low and I 
just blow dry my face and it's just dry like that. So this is kind of like a hairspray um, for your face. Lovely. My mirror just cut off. <laughs> um, we're just going to go with it though. Okay, you guys, I'll change it over in a second so that you guys can see. Um, all right, let's see here. See, I'm still rattled from my drive home this afternoon, y'all. It was crazy. Were any of you in the storm this afternoon? I was in Columbia when the storm hit. I had a late meeting in Columbia, and then I had um, I had two patients to see, so it was late when I left, and I was getting ready to get on I-26, and the wind, like, I felt like it picked my car up. Like, my car was rocking like this. It scared me to death. Um, I made it to 321 because I always go 321. I made it to 321 and pulled over at the gas station. Trash cans were flying across the parking lot. Um, it was absolutely insane. And then it's like it got really bright and I thought, okay, I can make it home. I can make it, you know, the sun's shining. This was just a thunderstorm rolling through. It's going to keep rolling. And um, I'm going to tell you, I got on the other side of Swansea and I have never been so scared in my life at the lightning popping, like, like streaking to the ground on both sides of me, like a rainbow type thing. Um, I, the wind was blowing so hard. There was debris flying everywhere. And I was like in the middle of nowhere. Um, there was nowhere to pull. There was nowhere to turn. Um, I couldn't turn around because it was all just around me. So I kept going. Um, I said, if I make, Lord, if I make it to Nisa's, I'll get out and go in the grocery store and wait it out there. By the time I got to Nisa's, it was like a big break and it was daylight again. So I kept going. And as soon as I got out of Nisa's, it's like it surrounded me again. And um, y'all, I have never prayed so hard in my life, but I prayed a lot on the way home today. And um, I am glad to be home safe and sound. Thank the Lord. All right. So my mirror is back up and going. So for those of you just joining, what I'm doing is I am um, putting our foundation to the test. On this side is straight foundation. On this side, I have used our powder and I have used our setting spray. We do have two types of setting spray. So one setting spray is um, for dry skin and the other one is for oily skin types. So even people with oily skin can use this. So I just wanna touch it and make sure. Why did that cut off? I am plugged up. Let's see here. Oh, I'm plugged up to the wrong thing. All right, hold on. Hold on, you guys. Now, also on my arm, what I have done is I have taken eyeshadow. This is called Dial It Black Eyeshadow. So, the trick here is to make sure that it's dry. And that feels really, really, really dry. So, watch this, okay? I've got a, a wipe for this side. So, this is just foundation with no setting spray this is just our botanical foundation so with no setting spray and no powder look i can really move that all around okay so if you don't have these products but you're wearing our foundation and you're going it's not lasting me all day long this is why if you're touching your face and are putting your phone to your face it probably does seem like it's not lasting all day long but if you take that same foundation, add a little bit of setting powder to it to give you that airbrushed look, the matte look, and then go over it with setting spray and let it dry. And this, is, this will last 16 hours. Look at this. I cannot move it out of the circle. Do you see this? Do you see this? I cannot move it out of the circle. You're welcome. You're welcome right there. Same thing with this eyeshadow. I sprayed it with the setting spray. Now I'm trying to rub it away. So if your eyeshadow is creasing and you have no idea what to do with your eyeshadow creasing, setting spray right there. Okay. Dry skin, apply your products, use the powder, 
to go over them and then use your setting spray and it is not going to move, I promise, all day long, all day long. Whereas this side, you do. So anyway, I hope you guys were safe today. I hope that you managed to stay through the storm. People were posting beautiful pictures afterwards of the rainbows and everything else. Um, beautiful sunsets this afternoon after the storm. And um, I guess that's God's promise that after every storm, there's a rainbow, right? So um, anyway, that's it. Just a quick little live tonight. I have to get ready for bed. So um, again, that's it. That's how you make it last all day long. All right, you guys. Love you all, and I will see you later. Bye.